Hello guys and welcome to City Cop. How are you all doing? Again, I know I'm opening a video with I apologise I've not been around for so goddamn long. I've been in transit, I've been moving, but towards the end of the video I'll explain where I've been and what's been happening. But start this video off first because I know people aren't going to be really interested about what I'm, about me and my personal shit, so I'll give them the Liverpool news first. And then if you want to stay and find out what's happening with the channel and what's going to be happening, stay until the end and I'll explain a little bit more. Right then, so... Phil Coutinho, obviously there's big big news, big, big news about that in recent weeks. Um, apparently this week, Phil Coutinho's representatives have been out in Barcelona, obviously speaking, about, uh, speaking to Barcelona about Phil Coutinho's move. Um, it's been reported that Liverpool have agreed a £135 million fee for Phil Coutinho, which Barcelona have said, yes, we'll pay that, but are a bit reluctant to pay the £135 million in one lump. They want to pay it in instalments over his contract which Liverpool aren't interested in at all so that is a massive stumbling block that's got to be solved before anything happens but his representatives have been out there the move is definitely most likely going to happen whether if it's going to happen in January or um, in the summer is yet to be seen yet but 135 million has been agreed payment structure is the next thing to be negotiated um, apparently Phil Coutinho and his representative have um, agree personal terms of a contract of five years and earning around 10.6 million a year which is a blinding contract he's only 25 years of age so that contract will seem to be 30 obviously you can do your maths <laughs> but yeah you know what do you guys think to that obviously i think we all knew phil was going to leave whether we go in january i'm not too sure i think personally if liverpool are holding out they don't want to do the payment structure structure they want the one lump so if they can get the 135 million in one lump in January, I can see him personally going, in my opinion. Um, if not, it'll be in the summer until they smash out a deal. Um, but he's been in great form. You know, I've made it very publicly known on this channel that I was really peed off um, about the how Phil Coutinho handled the situation of putting in a transfer request when he did it so close to when the season was starting and just, oh, I've got a bad back and all this crap. Yeah. I hated it, right? But since he's been back, credit where credit's due, he's been playing professionally and he's been putting in some standout performances where, you know, it's sort of like, are we going to, is if we're going to lose him? You know, he's putting in performances like this and we're going to lose him. It seems like we're now starting to see Phil Coutinho hit his peak and it looks like he's going to be out the door. So it's a big, big shame. I'm really annoyed, like I've said all along, about how we handled the situation in the summer, about trying to force his move to Barcelona. But if he keeps putting in performances like he has been so far against the Bournemouth game, was, oh, I thought he was brilliant. He's got 13 goals this season with 7 assists, which is, you know, so far, we've not been in January yet. And he's hitting them sort of figures. Brilliant. Big, big shame that we're going to lose him though. So, whether it's in January, whether it's in the summer, I'm not too sure. But, like I said, it's going to happen. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you think the fee Phil Coutinho is... You know, acceptable if you are happy for him to go. Who would be his replacement? See, I've been thinking about this for the last, I don't know, probably the last good couple of months, really thinking about, you know, who could we really get to replace Phil Coutinho? Let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are and see if you can change my mind. I'm not going to tell you who I think yet, but I want to read your comments. I know it ain't the best news. <laughs> um, there's a little bit about Ben Woodburn as well. Obviously, Ben Woodburn is only yet to feature once this season. Uh, he played 44 minutes in a League Cup game, which we arguably lost. Um, and he hasn't played, that's all he's played this season. Obviously, he's in the Welsh national squad. They highly rate him. He's a highly rated prospect. He's been, he was brilliant last season when we seen him. But he ain't getting a game time at Liverpool so far this season. Whether that's just the fact that we got kicked out in the League Cup or if he'll get game time in the FA Cup, I don't know. Um, but it's reported that he will be available on loan as well as a few other places, uh, other players. Um, Harry Wilson, I think, was one of them. Brooks Lennon, maybe another one as well. I can't remember. Um, but Ben Woodburn is looking like he's going to be available for a loan move in January. And there's meant to be two clubs meant to be really highly interested in him. One being Huddersfield, which we know in the Premier League, who aren't doing so great at the moment. As well as Leeds, who are in the Championship. I'm not too sure if they're doing well. They tend to not do that well. Um, I'm from South Yorkshire, so I'm not a big fan of Leeds. Um, so, yeah, that is the... The, the the situation on Ben Woodburn it's a massive shame that he hasn't really featured that much this season you know I think he's brilliant I, I rate him really highly he's still only 18 years of age so a massive uh, getting a massive loan deal to a club like Leeds or Huddersfield would be brilliant 
I'm more swayed to go to Leeds because I think you'll get more first team football at Leeds rather than Huddersfield because Huddersfield are going to be wanting to try and stay in the Premier League. Do you think Ben Woodburn makes Huddersfield a better team being in the squad? I'm not too sure. But, you know, Huddersfield, like I said, Huddersfield aren't doing great. Um, whether you get the, as much game time as we would like for him um, at Huddersfield, I'm not too sure. Personally, I think he'll get more at Leeds. Again, let me know in the comments. Out of them two clubs, who would you be interested in letting Ben Woodburn go out on loan? Um, that's pretty much it on the transfer news today. There's obviously a few other little bits about Daniel Sturridge and things like this, what's been happening over in recent weeks. But the stuff in the past, I'm not going to bring up. Um, I'm just going to look for the future now and do the news as we go on from this day. Um, we have been in some good form, good win against Bournemouth and things like that. Absolutely over the moon about it's a big big game against uh, Arsenal Friday night I think it is uh, really gonna be tuning into that game looking forward to it hopefully we can keep this form on who's who knew Mo Salah was gonna be like this I've been absolutely blown away with his, his performances recently like blown away I thought Mo Salah at best would be like you know a rotation with Mane you know just to give Mane a rest I, I was not expecting this but may long he continue come on Mo Salah he's now <laughs> he's really becoming a fan's favourite you know I've been speaking to a lot of players um, a, lot, a lot of fans of Liverpool and they've been raving about him you know everyone's really really happy as well as um, fans from other clubs are going what a player you've got there no one even like I said from other clubs was not expecting to see this like I said hopefully it continues he's a top goal scorer in the Premier League which is nice to see and he's not even a striker so you know, Mane's not been hitting the best of form, has he? So, hopefully, with Mane, it seems like he's got a bit of a sulk. Do you know that he's now not the main man? But hopefully he comes out of that. I know he had the ban with kicking at Ed Milson in the face, which I still think was a bit harsh. And as well as then getting injured. So, hopefully it's just a bit of form that he needs to pick up. And hopefully he gets that because we'll be absolutely even more devastated than what we have been. Um, just quick update on the channel as well. <coughs> Right, so I've been st I was staying with my mum for about three or four months, and um, that's where I was doing the videos on the daily because I had, you know, as a place where I could do them, I could set it all up. But uh, the equipment I had over there wasn't the best equipment. You know, it was all still down south where I was living before going to my mum's. Now I'm back down south. Now I've got my cameras, my lights, everything's going to be up and running back to normal. Got my PC back so I can do the live streams professionally again. Get the HD and it's going to look all crisp. It's going to look proper um, studio mic I've got the podcast all set up ready to get all done so that you know this next rest of the, well, the next half of this season is going to be fantastic over here at Outer City Cop really really is um, like I said I've got it all prepared I've got a few collaborations with a few of the YouTubers that are going to be a surprise for you and I think you're going to be really really shocked to have managed to get um, so make sure to stay around and watch out for Outer City Cop's um, YouTube videos um, Thank you for the support, guys. Thank you for the comments to make the saying, where are you? Hope you're all right. You know, it's really, really appreciated. I am all right. Looking forward to Christmas. I'm skint. Just bought my little boy all these little Christmas presents. So over the moon to see his face on Christmas morning. You know, because, you know, who but I'm not bothered about Christmas anymore. 27 years old, nearly 30. Well, I say nearly 30, three years off. But, you know, you know where I'm coming from. Christmas, I've lost that feeling. But like I said, it's nice to be able to see my little boy, you know, get all... Like over Christmas um, but yeah again thank you for the support thank you for hanging around guys I am back I will be back again tomorrow um, if you wanted to see all these collaborations and want to see Out City Cop move forward like I said I've got a lot planned and a lot set up for you know January and the rest of the season so make sure to hit a like on the video make sure to hit a subscribe on the channel guys come and join this family let's get it back growing to how it used to be and yeah I'll catch you guys in the next video take care